Welcome back. Today we're going to demonstrate palette knife trees. Really wonderful, easy way to do birch trees. And of course, like everything else, there's always a trick. This is a palette knife, just a plastic palette knife. You can use anything you want. And once again, you can use the edge of a credit card. This one I like because it's got two different sizes. It's got a long edge and a short edge. Also, I will be using a liner brush, which is a long, thin brush. It's called a script brush or a liner brush. It, the in the description of the brush is long, thin hairs. Okay, now, do we need to draw too much for this? If you do, make sure you do it very gently and carefully. A little bit of ground. And you don't want to drop too dark because you're going to have to erase this pencil after. So I'm just giving myself an indication of where I'm going to need to make my main tree trunk. The rest of the branches will be painted with our liner brush or the edge of the palette knife. It's very important how you load your palette knife. So once again, you're going to need some ultramarine and some burnt sienna. And I like to put those next to each other because in the middle here, when I mix them together, I get some brown. And if I mix just a little bit over here, I will get black. Burnt Sienna and Ultramarine will make the whole host of browns as well as black. Practice mixing your paint. It's also very important how wet this is. So when you drag your brush through, you can see the walls slowly close in. That's what you're looking for is medium wet paint. Let's check this out. Yeah, they all look about the same. So I've got a whole mixture of paint here because I want my painting to have a variety of colors. Okay, this is how you use your brush. You're going to determine the outside of your painting. That's where I'm gonna want my shadow side of the tree. So I'm going to turn it this way with my shadow side away from me. I'm going to take my palette knife and I'm going to drag it through the paint and I'm going to load the bottom edge. Then I'm going to put it on the pencil line on the outside edge and I'm going to drag it over holding my knife at a 45 degree angle to the paper. Let's have a look this way. You can see that I need to hold it way down and drag it. A hint for this to make it realistic is to make sure that you're getting a variety of colors. There's our basic tree. Some people like to take their palette knife and make branches with the palette knife. That works out very nicely, or you can take your liner. A loading a liner is very important. You must roll it in your paper and completely fill your brush. If you think you're going to be doing lots of lines, you could use a sable brush, which holds more water and stays wet longer. So roll your brush, completely sopping that brush, now, I like to move my board around so that I can get my hand comfortably in a left to right motion. I'm going to stop here so that it bleeds into this tree. And I'm going to lower my brush. And as I'm going out, I'm going to lift it to the tip. That makes a tapered line. Now, I tend to like to jerk my hand because it looks more realistic for twigs. I've got a pretty steady hand and I find that if I don't jerk my hand, my 
lines are way too straight. So that's my trick to doing wonderful birch tree with lots of branches and twigs. I like to make sure the, the branch comes from a wet area because what happens is it bleeds in there and it looks like it belongs. A little addition to this is you can take your brown and hold your brush further up, anchor your brush here and flick it. And by flicking in an upward motion, you can use your liner to also paint grass. Once it's dry, I will erase the pencil and I'll have a birch tree. Let's ask ourselves one question. What if we want to put a birch tree into a dark background? We must preserve the white paper by first blocking it out with masking tape or masking fluid, which will be one of our other tutorials down the road. So enjoy birch trees with a palette knife and liner brush. Thank you. See you again soon.